It seems only a few days ago that I stood before you on our opening day of school discussing our motto for the year of Together We Can, fully acknowledging the challenges we face, but offering what we believed would be the solution to meeting those challenges. We maintained it is only through the dedicated commitment to team that we were able to create a culture of excellence in which real and lofty goals can be reached. It is with a great sense of accomplishment that I acknowledge that you, the graduating class of 2018, have indeed met those challenges and attained those goals, and that tonight we can proudly pro proclaim, together we did. I would now like to introduce to you our two class speakers for the evening, Mr. William Wokey, followed by Ms. Anna Kubai. William, would you please come forward? My fellow students, we only arrived here four short years ago, and now it's already time to leave. How did it all go by so fast? It seems like only yesterday we were skinny little freshmen running around in the hallways trying to figure out where our next class was. Yet, that all has changed. As the great street poet and philosopher Drake once said, we started from the bottom and now we're here. <laughs> now, we are the upperclassmen, the seniors who stand here ready to graduate and move forward in the world. Yet, at this pinnacle moment, we can't help but look back. How do we measure our time we've spent at West High? In the beginning, we measured it in class periods, counting down as the clock struck three and darting out of the school. As the days and weeks passed, we measured it in semesters and later in years as we moved from being those clueless freshmen to becoming sophisticated sophomores who thought they had it all figured out because they didn't get booed at the first pep rally. By the time we reached our junior year, we were confident that we had high school on lock and that we were ready for anything that crossed our path. And now, here we stand. Our high school ride is over. I know that, I, I know that as I look about all of you, I will measure my time here in a much different way. I will measure it in all the friendships I've enjoyed these last four years. Some friendships were pretty casual. Others were much closer. But I will remember each one fondly, as I'm sure you all will too. And when many of our high school memories begin to fade, that's how we will ultimately measure the time we spent here. Not in periods, not in semesters or years, but in the friendships that we've made and the times we shared together. In my closing words, I would like to share a quote from the former Harvard student, Lil Pump. No matter who puts us down, we are the future, and that future looks crazy bright. As I look out among all of you graduates, I see so many different graduates, no one exactly alike. While our futures may be different, our goals should be the same. We must strive for greatness in whatever calling we choose to pursue. Congratulations, my fellow graduates of the class of 2018. Go Trojans. <clears throat> Students, parents, and faculty, my name is Anna Kutbai, and I'm honored to be here speaking today. One of my greatest memories of the past four years happened in Mr. Hayes' calculus class. <laughs> it didn't involve working in class or studying, but something that I think speaks of a community embodied at West High. Early in the year, we took a class picture by the Morristown West sign with everyone, all 30 of us smiling and laughing amidst the struggle that is calculus. For Christmas, Mr. Hayes gave us each that photograph framed, which I still have today. I don't remember the tests I took or the grades I made, but I do remember a year in that classroom and the friendships I formed. I don't think many of us realize how lucky we are to go to Morristown West High School. Our school not only fosters a rigorous curriculum, but they drive home a sense of community within each student. And it's that word, community, that defines our school. Whether you find your community in a sports team, 
the band room, a club, your family, or maybe even your calculus classroom. Morristown and especially West High create students that genuinely enjoy being a part of something greater than themselves, being a part of a nation, a Trojan nation. Recently, our community was tested with heartbreaking events that we overcame. Strangers became friends and our community proved its resilience and integrity within our school systems, our churches, and our students. It opened my eyes to the power of people, especially in time of need. I am proud of my community and my school and I know that our entire senior class will carry that community with them wherever they are going. New York City, Nashville, Jefferson City, Houston, Atlanta, Chattanooga, Provo, Starkville, South Bend, Knoxville, Johnson City, Tuscaloosa, or even right here in Morristown. Take what you have been given and give back to others in your newfound home. But with this, I also want to invite you to listen to and live by a quote from Albert Einstein. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. We've all encountered success and will encounter more in the future, but instead of focusing on what we have done, I encourage you to focus on what you have still yet to do. Live your life as a valuable person with humility, kindness, and respect. Thank teachers who have given you so much. They spend countless hours on the betterment of us. Embody the community they show us and mirror their hard work and determination. Be someone's go-to person. Be someone's reliable source. Be someone's family. Be someone's community. We have a graduating class of over 300 talented, smart, insightful people. Become an engineer with new brilliant ideas. Become a nurse who helps heal people. Become a welder who seeks to improve people's lives. Become the teacher that gives his students photographs to remind them how much he cares about them. Remember where you come from, but don't be afraid to start a new journey elsewhere. Morristown will be here when you come back. In closing, I want to remind you each to take Einstein's words and be of value, and don't neglect to share the community that has been given to you in the halls of the Trojan Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is certainly a pleasure and an honor to be here this evening. Graduating class, we are certainly very proud of your accomplishments. We are now come to the part of this journey where we've all come to attend this evening to recognize the awarding of diplomas. And we realize for many of you, this journey was a relatively easy one. We also realize that for many of you, it was a struggle and you had a number of obstacles to overcome. Regardless of that, you sit here this evening, and we honor your accomplishments. Jonathan Allen Scott Bloom. Cameron Leanne Brady. Anthony Maurice Brewer. Michaela Alexis Brooks. Jacob Matthew Baker. Brittany Alyssa Broyles. <laughs> Bailey Ethan Thomas Bryant. Blake Allen Burrows. Ashlyn Brooke Cagle. Byron Giovanni Arreano Carbajal. Taylor Shea Carmody. <laughs> Abigail Lynn Carpenter. <laughs> Alyssa Lynn Cartwright. Samuel Noah Chambers. Cameron Elizabeth Cobb. Samantha, Samantha Lee Koblenz. Davis Peyton Connolly. Kaylin Alexandra Cope. 
Cameron Mark Cox. Darren Deneen Cox. Edith Coxanteje Quesada. Shelby Caroline Crawford. Jacqueline Cruz.